And as you've heard, welcome back to Super Mario 3D World. Today, we're moving on to World 4 after, of course, completing World 3 with Peach. I'm only curious to see what it's gonna be, because that looks like little parts of the desert world we've already been to. Maybe it's another desert world? Huh. Weird. I wasn't really expecting that, uh, but here we are in World 4. I mean, I guess it's more of like a, a mesa kind of area than it would be a desert. Still, not quite what I was expecting. Uh, with that, I guess we'll switch over to it when we hop into our first level, which is World 4 1, Ant Trooper Hill. Oh yeah, these introduced, I think, a new enemy in the Mario series. But yeah, we're gonna switch over to our fourth and final character, Toad. It's the blue Toad specifically. I don't know if they have the yellow Toad in this game, unfortunately, but it's fine. Either way, we're already in cat suit with him. And the cool thing about Toad is that he is the fastest character. Whoa, okay. Uh, can I go down there? Uh, I, I can. Ow, okay, there's enemies coming out of it. I don't like that. Gotta be careful. <laughs> these ants are huge, so usually ants are pretty small, not these guys. So yeah, I don't really know if there's too much I can do in these things. I don't know if it's worth you know risking losing a life over right now. Oh, okay, so I can get rid of them. Not too much of an issue, whoa! But yeah, Toad being so fast is definitely a little bit of something to get used to. I don't think he jumps as high either. So there's like a bit of a trade off with that, of course. Then what's up here, anything? Not looking like it, so let's move down here. Boop. There we go. Yeah, the ants are pretty cool so far. I just I like the little enemy design. They're simple, but they're they match, you know, the the, the style of most enemies quite well. Like if I saw these guys in like Super Mario World, I they, I don't think they'd look very far out of place, you know? I keep falling off. Oh boy. There we go. It is always a little bit weird to get used to the different characters' uh, controls. Okay, so these guys got little spiky helmets, can't land on them. That's fine. Still haven't run into a a star quite yet, oh my. Ooh. Oh no, ooh, almost foul. That would've been bad. Okay, I like this, we're going into like an ant cave, not quite an ant hill, but I guess it could technically be. All right, yeah, I'll follow these guys a little bit. Going up here real quick, and boom. There's at the least our stamp. That's pretty cool to see. And also we have a superstar, whoa, this is gonna be good. Um, I do need to turn it around here in a second, though. Oh, you know what, maybe I should go like this. I'm messing this all up. There we go. Yeah, I got a one-up out of it. Ah, wait, 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 no! Hold on, hold on, hold on! Ah, oh, we made it! That was scary. I wanted to go up here, though. It looked like there was a green star waiting for us, and indeed there is. It's the first one on the level, too, so that's pretty cool. And can we get, like, sort of a lay of the land? What's coming out? Wow, it's so hot out. You can see it has, like, the little ripples in the background. It looks like there's something to the left. There's definitely some stuff to the right, but that was sort of to be expected. Okay, it looks like we also have a way to view it here. Okay, there's another green star. It looks like there's two ways to go up and down. I don't know which one we'll end up really doing, but we'll figure it out. Whoa, whoa, we got the big ants now. So once again, I'm guessing that means there's actually not too much in terms of stuff over here. I don't really look like it. Oh no, run, run. Ah, oh, I was stuck in the wall that whole time. Weird, okay. Well, luckily I do have another cat suit waiting for me. And yeah, I guess I could go down this pipe. Maybe, <laughs> if I try hard enough. Oh, and here is another green star, so we know where the third one is. What's cool about this is like, yeah, I could have climbed up there with a cat suit, but if, with enough skill, I could have also sort of jumped up there if I jumped off of them. That's pretty cool, right? There we go. There's another cat suit for us whenever we need it. And there's our last green star. Actually, not too bad of a spot. So I guess we just gotta keep bouncing off this guy now. Hmm. <laughs> I hope he doesn't mind too much. I sort of feel bad. Giving him a headache. Oh gosh, we're running out of time. See, like, I could go here. I'm a little curious to see what's down this way, though. Like this way looks a little bit more difficult to get to. It gets to some extra coins and stuff. I'm sure that maybe the pipe leads to the same spot. Oh, it actually leads up here, so that now that we can take this pipe. Okay, I understand. All right, I don't want to dilly-dally too much. We just want to get out of here. 
Whoa, whoa, that was cool. Bouncing off the ant onto the golden flagpole. Pretty darn good. Good job, Toad. So there's our first level with Toad. Definitely a little bit more difficult to control, but I think we'll get used to it over time. All right, then, and we get one of those little ants as our uh, first stamp for the die. Very cool. I like the music here. And that's gonna lead to the next level, which we'll tackle in just a moment. I am a little bit curious, though. What's going on down here? Uh, ooh, we get a nice view of everything. Yeah, I guess we do sort of start from the back side of it, so that makes sense. Interesting. The next level's looking like maybe more of a jungle theme, and if I'm not mistaken, this has our second secret exit, and a lot of you told me there's only two secret exits in this game in World 2 and in World 4. So let's try this one out, World 4-2, Piranha Creeper Creek. I'm not quite sure if we'll be able to do the, well, we, we don't want to do the secret eggs on the first time through, of course, but we'll do it at some point, if I can find it. Oh, this level's really cool looking. It is a jungle level, though, with the poison little lake we got going on here and the piranha plants everywhere. Oh, wow, and here's Fire Toad. Oh, I love it, he looks really cool. Anything up here? Not quite. All right, fine. No, taken, I will ooh, knock this guy back a little bit. There we go, and it looks like we actually can knock them out too. We do all that. Gotcha. Oh boy. Definitely grab whatever coins I can. Excuse me. This is such a cool level though, aesthetically. I, I really like it. Hmm. And anything up there? Nope, you can see it also has like a little ridge at the top. Hmm. Oh no, oh no. I don't know if I can really get him any more than that. I don't know if I have to though. Let's just, oh boy. First, maybe get rid of you. I don't wanna deal with you anymore. I'll grab that checkpoint in just a second. Might as well just try to go for our first. Oh no, uh, oh, there we go. Our first green star, not too bad. Hmm, and actually, while we're looking around, Anything up here? Nope. All right, get the check though, get the check. Let's definitely get our checkpoint. Hmm. Can I swing while I'm underwater? Whoa, ah, oh, I'm not gonna be able to find out right now. That's for sure. Oh, but here's another green star. Not too bad. Okay, definitely want the fire flower. It looks like, oh boy. Yeah, there's something over here. Oh cool, and that was the stamp. Well, thank you very much. I don't think I missed the other green star. I think we're gonna move forward. That was a nice little shortcut. I like it. And boom, get ourselves another fire flower, just in case, I suppose. Whoa, nice. Ooh, what is this? It's like a, a green star ring. So it's like the red coin rings with green coins instead. And that gets us, of course, oh gosh, our third green star, and if I'm not mistaken, I'm sure landing in the scoop would be a one hit takedown. I do not want to try to find out. There we go, come on. Get rid of these guys as soon as we can. Ooh, ooh, not too bad. Okay, there we go, there we go. We got it. Oh gosh, I actually have to not mess the jump up, oh no. Oh no. Oh, there we go, that was actually really cool. I'm glad I can make that move happen. Very nice, so we actually got everything on the first try there except for the secret exit, of course. So I'll have to hop back in and see if I can get that. The uh, the secret exit for 4-2, I think it'll just bring me to World 5. We get a pipe stamp, a little less of an interesting one than normal, but that's still pretty cool to get. All right then, so yeah, there is 85 green stars in total. We get to move to 8-3 soon enough, but ooh, I do see that mushroom hunt. Oh, wait a minute, well, not E3, 4-3. It looks like we have ourselves a uh, little boss with to deal with in a moment. That character is new, he's like a little rock with eyes and arms. He's a Geodude. Oh, here we go, very nice. Okay, so I just basically want that and this. Not really super into the fire flowers, but, but Toad as the Tanuki suit is super duper cute. I love this one. All right then, so yeah, I'm gonna hop back into 4-2 and see if I can't find that secret exit. Oh, there's something up this way. Oh, okay. 
I think I want to switch back to the 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 Tanuki suit here. It makes jumping across these much much easier. Indeed, it does. And we'll get this orange pipe again, which I'm pretty sure is what led to the secret exit last time. So here we go. So that'll bring us all the way to world five, which is cool and everything. I guess we get a little sneak peek about like what's going on with this here. But now I'm um, not super interested. Uh, just gonna pretend I'm not seeing anything here. If I can. Oh no, <laughs> it's too late. It's showing me a lot right now. But this is what we'll be tackling in the next episode, I suppose. Uh, how do I go back? What's the best way to do that? I guess I could go right here, and just teleport to world four. I'll be looking around that world more next episode. I don't wanna be too spoiled on it, right? All right then, so with that done, let's go to world 4A. Brolder? Brolder Blockade, that's a tough one to pronounce. I guess it's like he's he's a bro and he's a boulder, the Brolder. All right, well, let's hope that Toad can handle this one. Oh boy. He's rolling, he's rocking and he's rolling. He seems pretty excited about it too, I love his little arm movements. Uh, are we supposed to like hit him? Oh, okay. Oh, all right, I was waiting for him to do something. <laughs> he was waiting for me to make the first move, basically. Alrighty, I bet you I could throw this guy at his friends. There we go, nice. There it is, that wasn't too bad. Was, that was it. I thought that was one of the easier ones so far. Yeah, nice job. All right then, so, so far World of Four is going really well. I don't know if we've even died a single time. There we go, 86 green stars. He's looking a little bit dizzy there. And we got ourselves two more levels to check out. We're looking for 4-3, my guess is that's gonna be this one. Nope, that's 4-4. This is 4-3. Beep block skyway. Oh, this reminds me of Mario Galaxy as well, because they had these little switching blocks, which they had in Galaxy and in 3D Land. I love this, this is so cool. One, two, three. And then it switches. So basically it moves on four. I think they also have this in Captain Toad. Oh wow, we got the cherry as well. All right, well I don't know how easy this level's gonna be, but we already got three toads. And luckily with the Tanuki suit, it does make things significantly easier. There we go, we got some coins for it. I was expecting a green star or a stamp or something. All right. One, two, three, four. Oh, no, you don't. That was close. I do see this guy over there. Oh, what's this about? Whoa, coins. One, two, three, four. There it is. Is that everything? It looks like it. So there's our first green star. We're moving somewhere. What is this? This little panel on the floor doesn't seem to do anything. Whoa, okay, and there's another cherry for us. I like all the Luigi's in the background. All right. One, two, three, four. There we go, so jump on three, land on four. One, two, three, four. Oh no, go quick, go quick. Definitely get this, and ooh, what is this gonna do? Lead us to a stamp. Don't mind if I do. Okay, ooh, this is where it gets a little bit scary. Well, we got them all, all together now. All right then, I just need to get one of them in there, the rest will come with us. Still looking for two more green stars now. We're a force to be reckoned with though, we got a little army going on. All right, um, this is where again, things get a little complicated. I did not land in the pipe there. There we go. Okay, and this has, what do you know? A little, uh, okay, yeah, everybody grab coins. Grab coins, you got it, you got it. Oh, they move so fast. L luckily with Blue Toad, honestly, I wonder if we could do that with like just like one or two of them. All right, well there we go. Looking for one more green star, oh my, this is scary. I can't quite move the camera here, so I'm trying to line them all up just right. One, two, three, four. All right, one, two, three, four, there it is. One, two, three, four. Okay, that, that time the Tanuki suit definitely sent me. One, two, three, four. There it is. Go, go, go. Okay, we're in the clear. We're in the clear. 
Um, before I start worrying about any- No, I just lost one. <laughs> the poor little guy. I'm so sorry, and I just lost another. It's okay though, I got everything I needed with him. I just need to not die. There we go, we got it. I definitely recommend, if you can, get the Tanuki suit for this level. It makes it a whole lot easier. Honestly, this power up makes most things easier in this game. Well, there we go. See, I'd love to hear your thoughts on Toad as a playable character in this game. Like I said before, he's the fastest character, but he jumps the, 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 the least, I guess. He has the worst jump. So I would love to hear if you play with him a lot. I think a lot of people usually do just simply because you can get through the levels faster if you're good enough. And there we go, that's gonna lead to four five, which we're not quite ready to tackle just yet. Instead, we'll be doing four four, which is Big Bounce by Y. Oh, this one looks cute. I like all the green grass. We got all the little bitty buds there as well. All right then, uh, whoa. Not too much happening over here. I love the little, the bouncing. Right here, these are always fun. Grab some extra coins from it. These are always my favorite little levels to explore. I don't know what it is, but just like the happy green atmosphere. I never get tired of it. I know a lot of people sort of do, they get tired of like the, wait, oh, the Nora. Weird. Uh, they get tired of sort of like the green, happy atmosphere, or some of the earlier uh, levels. I know like, that's also a big thing with like Sonic games as well. People get tired of it, but I just don't. <laughs> I just, I love it when everything's just happy and green. There we go. Okay, so lots of uh, red coins. This is, perspective-wise, very confusing. Like, is it just the right angle that it looks a little odd? There we go, we get a fire flower out of it. All right, then let me quickly grab some of these. Oh no, oh no, wait, okay, we're fine, we're fine. What's over here, though? Just got some invisible coins. And, oh no, can I get rid of these guys with fire flowers? Indeed I can. Hmm. Oh boy. Oh, those guys are back. They're also from Mario Galaxy, aren't they? And what's down, hold on, here. Some coins, not too much. So, so far I'm not finding too much this level, but it wanna be the first level where, whoa, weird. Oh no, I just wanted to bounce off of them. There they go. I think maybe I hit the other one with a fireball by mistake. I mean, good thing is I also have a cat suit if I needed it. Okay, we're fine. But that was the first green star. There are some levels where most of the secrets just seem to be later on in the level. Definitely getting rid of some of these guys. There we go, got him. Aha, another fire flower. Don't quite need it though. Maybe I can hold on to it until later. Especially if I could just get something done up this way. What is this? Green star number two. I was honestly expecting that one to be the stamp. It seems so extra. Oh, and this is, I guess, this could be either stamp or green star. It's the green star. Weird. Okay, ready, boom. Okay, <laughs> I sort of did a shortcut there, but if it works, it works. Where's my stamp at? Oh, there it is, there it is. All right, whoa, this could be difficult. This could be certainly very challenging. Just trying to be careful. Oh man, that is so many. Honestly, I think it might be better for the fire flower for this one. Oh no, it's starting to move again. Whoa, look at me, I got the question block. No, wait, oh! <laughs> I long jumped in the wrong direction. That's not what I wanted. All right, this time I got it. I'm ignoring the question block. It was nice to get the coins, but obviously it's not worth losing life over. All right then, so I'm just trying to chip through this little defense they have for it. Even though I don't really need to. I could, I could just jump my way through. And there we go. Just gotta pay a lot of attention to Toad's shadow here to know exactly where I'm landing. And there we go. So let's, uh, before I get into too much trouble here, Oh boy, there we go. So I guess only one of them, oh no. Oh, there it is. Only one of them turns into an actual little trampoline. So that's what we gotta keep an eye on. But there we go, we did it. Wasn't too bad once I figured it out. That was a fun level though. I like bouncing around in this game. And there's our one-up stamp. Pretty cool. Okay then, so that's actually gonna lead, I'm guessing, to a pipe here. 
Aha, and that's also gonna lead to one of those mystery boxes again. The, the last one had like five green stars in it, so let's see how many this one has. Very curious to see. It has, whoa, it has 10 of them. Quite a lot. Mystery House Mad Dash. Very cool. Well, let's give it our best shot. So just like last time, oh gosh. I always forget I need to press the jump button on these. Uh, but just like last time we have a whole gauntlet of little sort of challenges to get through to get all these green stars. Shouldn't it be too big of a deal? And with Toad, I can just sort of storm through that before even reaching any of the ants. Yeah, Toad's a really good character for these, isn't he? Because he just moves faster. Of course, I'm sure in terms of platforming, some of them might be a bit difficult, but there we go. We got this one. Oh my. Whoa, whoa, okay. Ah! Don't fall, don't fall. I don't know what happens if I die. Oh, the whole thing over her nose. That could have been better. Could have been better, could have been worse. Oh, here we go. Let's play it real risky here. And I got myself a uh, good time. Okay, run, Toad, run. Run, Toad, run. You don't gotta do anything else, but just run for it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Whoa. Oh no. No! Oh no, that's a problem. That's a big problem. No, we got it, we got it. Good save there, for sure. Okay, lots of Goombas, I'm in pain. Oh, Toad, there it is. Let me quickly get a Fire Flower. Luckily, we get, you get all the time you want after you get the green star, so I should probably slow down a little. Oh gosh. Got the cat bull. Bill's chasing me down. One more star to get. We can do it, we can do it. Ready, jump, jump. There it is. Very good stuff. So 10 more green stars for a collection. We're closing in on 100 of them. Pretty cool stuff. So as you can see, that gets us from 92 to 102. Let's go back to the main action now though. Cause this right here was four, four. And let's try four, five, Spikes Lost City. So we just ran into some spikes in that previous little gauntlet. Looks like we're running into a couple more. Whoa, this looks so cool. I love their little lost city. Do you feel like I'm gonna take him out? I mean, they're attacking me too, right? And honestly, that's sort of the thing. The spikes are just sort of innocent. They're not really even going for me. They're just sort of there throwing stuff. It's like the throw things. Maybe I should leave them alone. It is there their city after all. They should be able to do as they please as long as they're not intentionally hurting anyone. I mean, I guess even unintentionally hurting somebody can be bad, but I mean, that's sort of like, you know, you gotta look both ways before you cross the street. You gotta look around for rolling spiky logs when you go to Spike City. Ooh, this one's interesting. Oh no, oh, they're undoing it though? No, they're not, no, they're not. I, I thought that, that, that those landing on it would undo the button. I was like, okay, now I might have to take them out. There we go. Very good. Makes it for a fun little challenge, actually, to try to not hurt the spikes. All right, so we're gonna dodge these little Galoombas real quick. Got it. And lots of coins there. These guys always take two hits, which makes them a little bit more difficult to deal with. Anything up here, though? Not quite looking like it. The buildings stretch far and wide in Spike City. Oh boy, there we go. There we go. So we're doing all right so far. These jumps are a little perilous though. There we go. Now we got it. Ah, oh, my jump was not well timed. All right, I'll switch back to the fire flower in just a second. Hmm. Do you feel like we're a little low on secrets right now? Hopefully we find some more soon. Just worry that I might've missed something. There we go. Oh no, that's that's not good. But I get another cat suit. I might have to get rid of these guys. They're causing too much of a threat for me. <laughs> oh, what's over here though? Oh, perfect thing for the cat suit, right? Whoa, that was really cool. So there is green star number two. Very scary uh, depths below though. <laughs> Don't want to fall down there. Hmm. There we go, jump, you got it. Some parts like this can be quite difficult uh, for Toad specifically, just because his jump isn't very tall. It does make it quite difficult just to sort of get over them at that slanted angle. Oh, okay, wasn't really expecting that little side jump, but it worked out. 
We're just looking for the uh, the stamp now. And the stamp is nowhere to be seen. And I also messed this up. All right, well, we'll have to wait, replay through the level just for the flagpole. So hopefully in that effort, I can also find the stamp. Whoops. I was still a very cool level, I really enjoyed that. And of course, oh no, we did get the stamp then. Huh, okay. We got the spike stamp. I don't remember picking it up. Weird. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna hop right back into it if I can and try to get the golden flagpole. But after that, it looks like we'll have the little roulette thing to do and then we'll be good for the castle already. That happened really fast. I don't know what this pipe leads to, so we'll check that out soon too. But for right now, let's hop back in. Okay, I might have fallen again. That's fine, because I have that. And I guess I'll just like, we'll jump up like that and that gets, us for it, gets it for us. Very cool. Whew, that was definitely not easy, but we made it work. All right then, so one of the more difficult levels for sure, the moving platforms and some of the camera angles with them definitely didn't make it very easy, even playing it through for a second time. But uh, yeah, let's first see what this pipe leads to. I'm not exactly sure. Whoa, okay, there's some extra stuff down here. Then what is this about? This is World 4B Fire Bros Hideout number one. Is this gonna lead to the second one or is that gonna be in a different world, I wonder? Well, for right now, we just gotta take out the Fire Bros. Okay, there's one, there's two, there's three. As easy as that, all right then. That could have been worse, <laughs> for sure. Okay, so yeah, I'm really curious, where is that gonna lead to? Hmm, there's a 106th green star. Oh, okay, so it leads to one of the uh, Sprixy houses. I'm guessing that at this point, there's gonna be one of these in every world. It seems like it would make the most sense. So let's hop in and find out which uh, Sprixie stamp we get this time. All right, so this one will be the blue one, which we saved in the last episode, I believe. Very cool. All right, so actually, that means we're all good and ready to go to save uh, another Sprixie in the castle, as far as I can tell. So let's head out of here and hop into this pipe. So the castles have been super interesting so far. We've been battling Bowser on cars. We've been doing like auto scrolling tank levels. It was a train last episode. Uh, let's see what this one has in store for us. I'll sort of be a bit disappointed if it's just a normal castle at this point, right? <laughs> well, we'll head into it. It's World 4 Castle Lava Rock Lair. Ooh. I like the music so far, pretty groovy. Whoa, okay. This one sort of looks like a normal castle level, but it also looks quite intense. So, on all these lava, lava rocks, they're popping up now. So I can just toss these around a little if I wanted to. And indeed I will. Hmm. There we go. Anything up there? Not really looking like it. What's up with, oh, I see, okay. It might be, oh no, okay, another one's popping up. I was gonna say, it might be too late. Might have to restart the level, but I can toss you onto the mutton. Works as if it's like a second player. I wonder if you'd even have to bother with that if it, you were just playing with a friend. Guess that would make this level much easier, wouldn't it? Anyways, there's that done. Oh, and we do have a little, little red ring. And got it. Now I have more than one, very nice. I don't know, ah, no wait, no, wait! <laughs> I mess with the controls so bad when I'm trying to climb, but I'm also like panicking. Not what I meant to do. All right, let's try this again. And it doesn't look like there's too much I can do with this guy. So I'm just gonna leave him there. It looks like these pipes, they can handle a lot of heat going right through that lava, without any kind of issue. So let's check out this mystery box. We'll probably have ourselves, okay. Basically the same thing as before. Oh no, pick it up, pick it up. Get a little toss in this direction, and we're good. Awesome. All right, let's get out of there. Camera angle was weird there for a second. I thought we were at a whole new spot. So what are we doing here? Can I pick him up and just toss him at the green star? 
Yeah, okay, that counts. Nice. And look at this pretty easy cap suit to get as well. All right, then. Well, I don't think I need you anymore, see ya. Yeah, we got all three green stars. We're just now, oh, looking for the stamp. And it's not up here. Oh, right into the pipe though, perfect. I'm a little bit worried we missed out on the stamp. Whoa, look at this guy. He's got like different kinds of uh, rocks attached to him. Like, like quartz and opal and things like that. That's pretty cool. Very geologic. Am I supposed to do anything about him here? Or maybe I'm supposed to use his friends against him. There we go. That works. Oh no, oh no. Friends are bouncing right off him now. I'll get this guy tossed then. Or not. Well, maybe I could still put him to use here. Whoop. Got that miss. That also miss. Third time's the charm. Oh boy. So I need another one of his friends now. Hopefully more pop up soon. Uh, Guess I shouldn't have tossed that one guy. There they are. Oh, but that didn't work. Whoop. Okay, actually not too bad. Overall, pretty easy boss fight. Okay, definitely grab all those. And yeah, I just didn't get the, the badges this time. Or the stamp. Sort of a shame, I'll have to replay through the level and look around for that. But there is the orange Sprixie, which we'll save real quick. I'll, I'll put up the cat suit right now. Maybe it could be like, you know, back here or something. Nope, it's not. <laughs> I missed it somewhere. So I'll run through again, try to find that. But for right now, no! <laughs> Whoops, that's not good. Try that again. Much better. All right then, so three green stars and the golden flagpole at the least. Always good to get that. So there we go, world four done. This was actually a really fun world. There was a lot of fun levels in this one, good variety. I think this one might be one of my more favorite ones so far. I'm not really saying something because they've all been great. All right then, so as you can see, 109 green stars, golden flagpole, and the orange Brixie is saved. So we sort of got a little sneak peek at World 5 earlier in today's episode with the secret exit. So it's not gonna be too much of a surprise, but it's, it feels like the world themes don't really matter too much in this game. The levels are just what they are. They're in our, a sort of variety of different environments most of the time anyways. Uh, but with that being said, let's head back into this castle and try to find that last stamp. Oh, I did see a little something up here. Not much though. Aha, here it is. That's all I had to do was get that one stamp. I'm pretty sure that you still have to complete the level to get the, the all the unlockables though, once you unlock it. So I'll have to go and fight the boss again, but there we go, I got the stamp. All right then, so our, of course, stamp is one of the little lava rocks, I like it. All right then, so with that being done, I think that actually is everything in this world completed. I can take a look right over this way. Yeah, looks like it to me, unlike um, the previous world, which sort of had some extra stuff afterwards. Not really looking like it this time. So next episode we'll tackle World 5. We're always starting to go through the game pretty quickly here. Very exciting. We'll play as Mario again, I guess, since we've gone through all the characters now. We'll sort of keep looping through them. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Super Mario 3D World. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.